Jury nullification occurs if a jury delivers a verdict that is inconsistent with the law or the evidence, typically because the jurors believe that the law is wrong or shouldn't be applied in the situation. There's some controversy as to whether this is a violation of due process or an essential element of juror independence. This question came up after a California court dismissed a potentially rogue juror in the case People v. Williams. Arashik Wesley Williams was 18 years old when he had sex with his 16-year-old girlfriend, Jennifer. According to Williams, the sex was consensual, but Jennifer claimed that Williams had threatened her with knives. After two other incidents with Jennifer, Williams was arrested and charged with multiple violent crimes, including rape, a felony. At trial, the court instructed the jury that it could convict Williams of unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor as a lesser offense included within the offense of rape. At closing arguments, Williams' attorney complained that the court had added misdemeanors to the charges against Williams without any notice or preparation. He argued that a jury might, quote, afford a higher justice by refusing to enforce harsh laws, unquote. During deliberations, juror number 10 indicated that he wouldn't adhere to the judge's instruction regarding rape because he believed the law was wrong. The judge dismissed this juror and replaced him with an alternative. The jury found Williams guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor. On appeal, Williams argued that the court had dismissed that juror incorrectly because the juror was exercising the right to jury nullification. The Court of Appeals affirmed the conviction, and Williams appealed to the California Supreme Court.